It was all smiles when the proposed UN ambassador, Nikki Haley, appeared before the Foreign Relations Committee. Some senators questioned her lack of international experience, but she argued strongly that this should not be regarded as a disqualification, given her negotiating skills exercised as a two-term governor of South Carolina. On the subject of Russia, at least, she appeared to differ sharply with the president-elect who nominated her. Russia is trying to show their muscle right now. It is what they do. And I think we always have to be cautious. I don't think that we can trust them. Do you believe that uh, Russia committed war crimes when it ultimately indiscriminately bombed civilians in Aleppo and hospitals in Aleppo? Yes, I do. And she strongly criticized the U.S. abstention in a Security Council vote last month condemning Israeli settlement building, insisting the United Nations was guilty of constant bias against Israel. My job, our job, is to reform the UN in ways that will rebuild the confidence of the American people. We must build an international institution that honors America's commitment. To consider the nomination of Attorney General. It was less cheerful in the hearing of Scott Pruitt, Trump's choice to head the Environmental Protection Agency. Do you know how many kids in Oklahoma roughly have asthma? I do not, Senator. In the past five years, Pruitt has been involved in some 20 legal actions against the EPA and was asked directly whether he believed in climate change. Let me say to you, science tells us that the climate is changing and then human activity in some manner impacts that change. The ability to measure with precision the degree and extent of that impact and what to do about it are subject to continuing debate and dialogue. He argued the federal government was guilty of overreach in enforcing clean air guidelines insisting more power should be given to the states, a position heatedly dismissed by Democrat committee members. That's the kind of um, uh, EPA administrator you will be. Uh, you're not going to get my vote. The angry attack leaving the candidate visibly discomforted. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.